again, there's my drone. I forgot about it and it's low battery. Got it. Oh, all right. You can see the beach is right behind me and my drone just landed because it ran out of battery. But I was getting some sunset footage for you guys and I can't even see it from here actually. It's right over this mountain over here. See, there's a big mountain over there. I can't even see it, so I don't, I don't know what it is, but you guys will see it in a sec. But I'm exploring new spots today, and I'm actually gonna car camp, car camp along this beautiful coast. And tomorrow, I'm gonna fish for some rockfish out here, somewhere, uh, probably a spot that I've never been to before. I'm excited, man. I'm super excited, but here we go. Check out this sunset footage. All right, I think we're pretty much ready to car camp. Well, my back seats fold down. I'm in a really small car, my friend asked me. You have a pretty spacious car or are you just gonna sardine style it? I'm gonna sardine style it. But I have a blow up pad right here. My back seats fold down. I have a little extra room. It's my pillow. It's a little blow up pillow. It's pretty small. Just take it out. You snap this thing on and it acts as a seal and you just blow it in. It should take me about three breaths. Let's see. There you go. Snap that back on. And I got me pillow. Should be relatively comfortable. I hope. I don't really like car camping, but I'm trying to get out here super early tomorrow and explore some new places. New fishing holes that I've never fished before, so that's what we're doing. I have my headlamp, this by Vaunt. I have this Spark headlamp that's pretty cool. They sent this to me. Have a red light for me so it's not too obnoxious three settings for the red light you could also hold it to turn it to a you know bright light bright white light strobes uh yeah pretty cool definitely need this when you're camping and stuff but yeah i think i'm gonna chill out a little bit might do a little bit of writing there's i have no reception here at all no reception no internet connection no cell phone connection. So I think I'm gonna take this time to to sit and write. But yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the morning, bright and early, waking up at 5.30. All right guys, good night. Not gonna be doing that again. At least I get to wake up to this. Let's go. Made it to the spot. Made it to the spot. Ooh, that was a hike. Oh, it's something, I'm sweating. But guess who I am out here with today? Same spot as me, another YouTuber. But he also does some rock fishing. So, expected that he's at a spot like this. He's an expert at baiting. So, he has named himself the master baiter. And he's all the way over there. See his head? 
Ooh, but look at this gorgeous, gorgeous spot. Wide open ocean, surrounded by rocks. Water clarity was pretty good today. Look, you can see those starburst sea anemones right there. Pretty clearly, all bright and green in there. And I have a selection of swim baits here. What kind of candy bar should I choose? Right there. Let's get fishing. And here we go, first cast. how deep it is here. Feels pretty deep. Still dropping. There it is. That's at least 20 feet. So what I like to do when I first cast is try to make a mental map of what I feel down there and the structure. See if I can feel any rocks and bumps along the way. It's a little rougher than I'd like today. The other side might be better. Let's try to get out this way this time. This is just a gorgeous spot. A lot of seaweed right there. Dang, not a good spot. All right, I, I might have to move spots. It's a lot of seaweed right here. Moving spots. But at least I have a, a map, what I know and what I feel, and what I feel is either a good spot or not. Let's move. There's a bite, there's a bite. Ooh. Yep. S small though, probably blue. All right, switched it up to a weedless swim bait. I'm reusing this one, I've already used this one before. So it's not, it's got bit before. 30 pound line. Probably about three and a half feet to my camera. I know guys, I know. I can't, I can't, I can't resist man. The water's too clear and I know there's fish down there. Turn this baby on. I just gotta see. 65 pound mainline braid to a snap swivel to my camera. And then 30 pound mono tied straight on to each end. Let's go out this way. I dropped right in front of a rockfish that was just chilling out in the background. One thing that I noticed when I looked at this footage about this drop is the abundance of sea urchin that you see here. These purple sea urchin are invasive and so you could see that there's a ton of them around and there's really no kelp around and it's because these urchin eat the kelp. This time I'm gonna drop right in front of a curious black rockfish. It was small. And you're gonna see in a bit that there's a bunch of fish that's gonna be congregating around a shelf that's under the water. Nice little cove for little rockfish to be in though. I know there's little fish down there. Just, I'm just wondering if there's a link hog down there. That's really what I'm wondering. A 
I bet it looks so cool down there. I already know that there's gonna be a bunch of fish down there that I don't know about. You got this, or you could put this on a like, I've caught them on this little swim bait before. That's perfect, yeah. I'll, I'll try one of those little, how heavy is that jig head? Like this half jig head a, is probably, it's probably a quarter. This, this, this. It's like, I think this half is like one, one eight. Yeah. I also got green pumpkin, tiny little pipe in there. Yeah. Masturbator right here. Hey. <laughs> Out here on these rocks, man. And if they don't bite this, I don't know, they're smart because I would have got caught. But then again, I feel like if I was a fish, I'd eat anything. Unbelievable, man. I can't believe how clear this water is. So beautiful. I love it. I love it. Just this alone is worth the car camping. I'm gonna drop right in front of a curious black rockfish. And then on the same drop, I'm going to pass by a small school of what looks like juvenile rockfish. Just trying to get some underwater footage and then I'm going to do some real fishing. Throw on some big baits, go for some big fish. Hey, here we go. This is where the real fishing begins. Let's see what time is it. It's almost 9.30, so it took me about two hours to get really fishing, but I'm using the Masturbator swim bait right here. It's like a green pumpkin, seven inch swim bait. Got two hooks on it, both weedless, one trailer hook. I just tie it on a small little leader that's on the original hook on the belly, and this hook is going through the tail. So, but nips at the tail hopefully gets hooked up too using two ounces right here even though it looks like i'm casting out the same spots i'm not cast it over here once cast it straight out the middle one time now i've cast it to the right a little bit good thing about this is i'm in a little protected area here see these rocks out over here see a bunch of waves coming in but they're not hitting me because he's, he's hitting these rocks first oh you know what just came to mind that spot over there looks good I might try to cast right there it's a little rough right here Dang. I don't really like that Like I said, that spot looks good. Ooh, wee. I can't turn my back to the ocean. I actually stand right here. That one looks like it's coming in. Rocky right there, rocky, rocky. Oh man. Yo, that spot. Gotta have fish. Got to. Got to. I think that's the spot I'm gonna keep working. Got to. You're about to see that I'm gonna get a real subtle bite as I bring my rod tip up. And this is when I reel down hard and set that hook. Yep, I'm on. Oh no, it's in the freaking, it's in the freaking seaweed. Come on up here. What is this? It took the seven inch swim bait though. Small ink. Small ink cod. Took the seven inch swim bait, baby. Baby though. Took it though. 
felt it. It wasn't a strong hit, but look at this guy, man. What a beauty. Look at this. guy man look at those teeth man blue love them love them lincoln are just gorgeous looking fish aren't they patterns man all right let's get this guy back in the water i knew there's a fish over there oh yeah on the bottom you see the parasites see these little brown spots right here parasites Anyway, let's release this guy. Just throw him in this little pool. See how cool they swim. Look at that, he's gonna get pulled out too. Right there. So cool. Love it. Let's get another one, baby. Look at this, did not realize this, but that link cod just spit up this bait here. Looks like, looks like fish for sure. This one's like a tiny baby rockfish. It looks so fresh too, probably just ate it. This one looks like a digested fish. Pretty cool, it's not, not that big, the size of my finger, look at that. All right, y'all, you guys ready for this? Let me show you guys what I'm switching to right now. I'm gonna switch to some bait. Not just any bait. Oh. Not just any bait. Jumbo squid right here. Including the tentacles. Like 18 inches. Y'all ready? I'll show you guys how I'm gonna rig it up. Three-way swivel to a main line, 65 pound test. Tied on about a foot and a half, two feet to my weight, three ounce sinker, and then snapped on my hooks this is like a live bait hook live bait rig big old treble hook hooked to the top and then snailed on is a three aught octopus hook that i'm gonna put right here coming out the eye all right that's how it's going to be presented in the water and this is about four foot leader to this and i think it's going to be kind of buoyant right I know what you're thinking. It looks ridiculous, right? I know. I know that there's fish that will eat this thing. So I've caught a link cod before on a boat on this thing. Not from shore, but from a boat. So we'll see how this does. This thing's on a four foot leader and the squid's kind of buoyant, right? So you can imagine that sometimes depending on the current down in the water that the squid's going to be presented right at the bottom at the seafloor or fluttering four feet above. Right, I think that's perfect. Again, a little impatient here. I got some uni though. This urchin probably tried to eat it. Check this out. You ever seen an urchin extend his mouth out like that before? I haven't. Let's see, we'll show you his teeth. Eh, I don't know. Maybe not. Close his mouth. Oh, it's not closing his mouth, dude. Right there, the teeth. See that? That white stuff? Probably moving all around. But yeah, I'll throw this guy back in the ocean. Oh. Right back into the water. And let's get back to fishing. There we go, that's the spot I want. I mean, just look how, look how the water is unbelievably clear. I love it, man. my drag right now so if a fish gets it I'm gonna 
step away from my pole for a sec. Yo, I got a hit. I know you got, oh, I know you guys see that. That's a fucking ling right there. It's gotta be a ling. On the jumbo. I got hits on the jumbo. I was just about to grab a snack too. I literally walked away for, what's that say? Not even a minute. It let go. Oh no. Right when I stepped away to grab a snack too. Damn. I missed it. Could be in a hole right now. Could have grabbed it. Could have been a lingcod under a ledge. Could have came out, grabbed it, and went right back in. And it's not budging. Could be. I Wish I was holding the rod then, then I could really know.